Good evening. This is for the International Prayer Group and the Intercession Group. So we actually continue and today we are going to, well not today, this whole week I think, maybe this month. Let us focus on one thing and that is pray that ye enter not into temptation. Have a read in Luke 22 verse 40. Um, temptations are trials, but by temptations, very generally, we understand solicitations to evil. So, Satan is the arch tempter, and that is what his name means. Satan is the accuser, um, and he uses every possible variety of instruments to draw us into sin and folly. Cons uh, consequently, we are always in danger from him. But we are liable to be led astray by his temptations often, because they are sudden, powerful. Remember, Satan is extremely powerful. Don't forget that. Importune, deceptive, and so tight as to fall in with our peculiar circumstances. Also because our hearts are weak, changeable, and even prone to evil. We don't want to hear that, but that's the truth. We are humans and we are prone to sin. We are prone to evil. And we are open to seduction. Just look at Adam and Eve. So how many eminent saints, for example, already fell? Let us be, a, be aware. Your tongue, what you see, what you hear, what you think, what you feel, all, everything, all, every aspect, of your whole human being can fall into temptation you need to be be aware so falling into temptation dishonors god disgrace religion and even distresses the soul so god is able to preserve and deliver us we know that and we hold on to that that is what why we pray that is why we fast he has promised us through his word and through christ but prayer is implied in every promise remember beloved daily remember you have a malicious and a designing foe this satan that entity whatever that being is is really attacking and we need to stand and we stand firm but we have the power and we have the name through the Holy Spirit, and through God, and through His Word, and through the weapons He gave us. So that is why we pray, and that is why we fast. That is why we intercede for those who cannot, who are falling. Because God called us. Remember your calling. It's not just, I am an intercessor, and I am praying. Remember what you're doing. It's not for your own. It's for someone. So don't be led astray, but be aware of what you speak. Pray without ceasing. Pray in simplicity and in sincerity, without importunity. God is always faithful and will always make a way for you. Um, I actually want to just to read Luke 22 as well. Um, because I think it's fairly important um, since we are interceding and we are praying and I see and I feel and I, well not only I feel but God show me and that is why we pray is for this discernment God open our eyes, open our ears so that we see what you want to show us so that we hear what you want to say um, so that we know how to pray speak the word of God not through our own flesh or our own will but through the spirit and using the word of God as the sword remember that and that is extremely important Luke 22 verse um, let's have a look verse, from verse 20 we know this and what this is about but think about not only christ but how many christians are actually doing the same thing or those who claim to be christian 
likewise also the cup after supper saying this is uh, the Lord's Supper this cup is the New Testament in my blood which is shed for you but behold the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table verse 21 of Luke verse 20 uh, Luke chapter 22 but behold the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table your own friend in Christ can betray you stab you in the back but how, what we do what do we do as intercessors we forgive we pray and we ask God help this person and truly the Son of Man goeth as it was determined but who, woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. You know, we can try whatever we want, and we can try to be the best person ever. But there's always that one, or two, or three, that will actually hurt you. But remember, we pray, we intercede, and we pray that you do not enter into this type of temptation. Our prayer for this evening would be, Jesus, Redeemer, Saviour. Lord, the weary sinner's friend, come to my help, pronounce the word, and bid my troubles end, wisdom and strength to me impart, to quench each flaming, fiery dart. Again, Jesus, Redeemer, Saviour, Lord, the weary sinner's friend, come to my help, Pronounce the word and bid my troubles end. Wisdom and strength to me impart to quench each flaming fiery dark. Amen. Now let's pray.